party and we're waiting for the shuttle right now. I'm over there with like some of my classmates. Whew, it's freezing here. It's like 30 degrees. But yeah, so I couldn't vlog earlier because I was running late. I'm always running late. So literally I got to the plane when when they were boarding like group nine. So I couldn't really say anything, but I woke up at two o'clock in the morning. My flight was due to leave at five. So I left my house around like 3.30. And I don't know, I just couldn't sleep last night, partly because I had cramps and partly because I was just like so anxious for today. And I didn't get done packing really until like, I don't know, maybe like 11 p.m. anyway. So yeah, I feel much better now, but like when I first like got up or like when I first got dropped off at the airport, I don't know, I had like mixed emotions. Like I have been through training twice before, but this is like the first training that I actually felt like happy and sad at the same time. So yeah, but I feel much better right now. Today is actually day one, so they flew us here on day one. Meaning we have to go directly to the training center. Like all of our days started super, super early. Like obviously I told you I got up at 2 a.m. And we still have like full day of stuff to do. So right now we're all expecting to go to the training center, get our handheld and everything. Um, and to get fitted for our uniforms and guess what we already have an assignment due tomorrow they emailed it to us before we even got on the plane this morning so okay so i just had to like muster up like some energy because i am so exhausted it's 509 and my day started at 2 a.m and it's 509 p.m right now so i'm in my hotel room we have roommates. I met my roommate and she seems really cool. So basically, I thought it was going to be like a really chill day. They were talking about, you know, fitting us for our uniforms, getting our um, manual and getting our, our tablet. So that's all like I thought we were going to be doing today. But no, I was so wrong. Let me get out. And I don't even want to sit on my bed because... I haven't showered since 2 a.m. All right, so I'm getting the schedule right now. All right, that's my roommate stuff right there. My stuff is over there, and I have that huge bag right over there. But yeah, guys, I have cramps, like crazy cramps. So mix cramps with like a long, long day tons of walking tons of taking off your clothes and putting on new uniforms and you know to getting your measurements and everything it was just like a crazy a really crazy day but anyway so let's see straight from the airport a shuttle came and took us directly to the training center so we didn't get a chance to check into our hotels drop our luggage off and mind you this is a six-week training so we got a lot of bags like it was a workout today so we dropped our luggage off in the luggage room and then we went to go get all of our mandatory items like items that we have to bring to class every single day which is like i took them off but it's like a lanyard with our name and our group number and everything and then another like name tag so we have to have those two items every day for class and they also gave us our tablet which is just like you know like a a little bit bigger than an ipad it's a samsung tablet and that is the tablet that we're going to be taking our tests on so that tablet is only for training and it's only for our test but we have to make sure it's charged fully every single day and we have to make sure we have it every single day 
and the next thing we got was our smaller tablet which is the tablet that we are going to bring okay so we have to bring this one every day as well as our bigger tablet but our big tablet we leave here when we graduate training our smaller tablet which is kind of like the same size as a phone and it has our in-flight manual um, and it's also the machine that we're going to be using for like our services so if you know people buy food and drinks on the airplane that is the one that we're going to use so we also got that as well and you know they just told us the rules for that how we have to bring it every day how it has to be charged fully completely and they took us through some of the apps and stuff because you know those apps are basically like our life at this point after that it was our fitting yeah, I was in there for about two hours and I tried on all the uniform pieces and chose the ones that I wanted and the size that worked best for me. Now I am still going to have to get them altered, some of them altered, like some fit perfectly and some it's just like, other than that I'm happy with like the selections because and my last training class, like there were some, mine's, I ended up very lucky, but there were some people in my last training class that were like a size eight. And just because they had, you know, like a little bit of pulling, like right here, like you see how my shirt is, it's a little bit pulling right there, right? A simple button will like suffice. I can get like somebody to put an extra button right there and it won't pull anymore, you know? But if they see just a little, little itsy bitty type of pulling, they'll tell you to go up like two sizes. So there were some people that were like a size eight and they were making them get like a size 14, size 16. And I'm like, so basically it's like, it only fits here and everywhere else it's like a bag. So I was kind of nervous going into the fitting, but you know, flight attendants that are fitting, so they understand, so you know. After the fitting, there was um, the class for our tablets. So that's where they taught us how to use our both of our tablets and the rules around the tablets. And that's basically it. So the airline that I'm in training for is American Airlines. I told you guys I was in Dallas for six weeks, so they do feed us breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we have this little meal card um, with $27 a day. So, you know, you can eat $27 worth of food every single day unless you want to come out of pocket and pay for your own food, which none of us do because we're not getting paid for this training. So that's six weeks of unpaid training, but they do cover breakfast, lunch, and dinner. $27 worth. So me i was so caught up in doing all this stuff because everyone had different time slots so it wasn't like a structured thing there's like a hundred and i think it's like 150 or 160 people in my training class so we're going to be split up in three groups but today everyone was for themselves it's like we had one time on our sheet and that was the fitting time everything else you just got to get in where you fit in so i guess that's why this day is pretty long so i ate lunch but i went to lunch like really really late and there was like no more hot food left so i just got a sandwich some soup and i got a salad for later i think i mentioned before that we already got a, an assignment like an online assignment so in our class our tablet class they did tell us about the assignment and it's due tomorrow so i think i want to do my hair and take a shower and then i'm just going to eat my salad and do my assignment and go to sleep <laughs> because i'm like so exhausted right now tomorrow our van is at 6 15 so that means it's leaving the hotel at 6 15 in the morning and it's about 5 30 right now so so that's like a little over 12 hours so that's how long i have to recuperate get some well needed sleep because i only slept for three hours last night and do my assignments and do my hair because that's like a priority right now but yeah so let me show you guys what i decided to wear 
All right, so today everyone thought we were gonna take our ID pictures, but thank God we didn't because I think I look a hot mess right now, but this is what I wore, just like a basic suit, like skirt suit and just like a white shirt. Some pearls. I forgot to put on my earrings today because I was running late and I wore flats today. So yeah, <laughs> very plain very basic let me show you guys our room so this is my side right here that's Carly's side we have a tiny refrigerator right over there in the corner and no microwave <sighs> And then we have a big screen TV and some drawers. All right, guys. So I might come back on later on today, but I cannot guarantee that. But if I don't, then I will definitely talk to you guys tomorrow.